Hey, it's Patty Scharf, CPA and co-founder of Catching Clouds, the leader in e-commerce accounting. And today is a very exciting day. Today, I'm gonna to tell you about a brand new tool that just came out called A2X for Shopify. All right, so if you watch my channel at all, you know that I love telling everybody about brand new tools that make your life easier if you're an e-commerce seller or if you're an accountant who loves an e-commerce seller. Um, basically, e-commerce accounting is, is really hard and when there are tools that can make it easier, I will shout that from the rooftop. So this is not a paid advertisement. I don't get any kickbacks for any of this stuff. And in fact, I'm gonna give you some information at the end of this video on how you can figure out the Shopify accounting stuff without even paying for a tool. Although I don't know why you would do that once you know about A2X for Shopify. So let me just hop in and tell you about it. So A2X for Shopify is the best thing to come out for e-commerce sellers since A2X for Amazon, really. Um, <laughs> Not a coincidence that they both make that the one company makes both of the same tools uh, because they understand e commerce sellers, they understand how the data works, and so they are solving the same problem that they solved for Amazon only on the Shopify platform. Okay, so if you don't know what I'm talking about with, with Amazon, go watch this video, it's got all the kind of ins and outs of why I love A2X for Amazon. Now let me talk about why it's such a time saver for Shopify. Shopify is a platform shopping cart. Hopefully you know what it is. Your Chances are you're watching this because you have a Shopify store, but basically they make it really quick and easy and inexpensive to start selling online. You can like throw this website up with hardly any work at all. You list your products and then you can just start accept, just start selling. You can start selling and accepting payments and all that stuff. Okay. Shopify has Shopify payments is their processor. And then you can also use any other processor you want, PayPal, fat merchant, whatever, it doesn't matter. So everybody starts getting online and selling things. And usually accounting is an afterthought. Maybe a few months down the road, people are like, wait a second, I actually don't, understand like how much money I have, like I need a PL profit and loss statement. I need to know what's going on. My bank is asking for one. I need it to do my taxes at the end of the year or whatever. And people realize that they need to do their accounting. So when you're selling online, you don't want to go into your accounting software and enter in transaction by transaction. It's annoying. It's time consuming. It's a waste of time. So e-commerce sellers in particular are like, there's gotta be an app for that. So they start looking around for an app and all the apps that are out there, basically they push in data order by order. Okay, so when, you, when you're selling like five orders a day, you're like, woohoo, this is magic. I just suddenly have these orders in my accounting system and I didn't have to lift a finger. This is amazing. But then what ends up happening is because Shopify is so easy to use, if you are a guru at marketing, your sales can go through the roof kind of overnight. We've, we know lots of sellers who just within six months, they go from like zero to $100,000 a month, just like that. And they're selling thousands of orders in a month. So what used to be magic when you would see just you know, yay, five orders that I didn't have to type in myself turns into thousands. You kind of don't know what to do with that. It'll crush your system possibly, and or it makes it kind of impossible to reconcile because what lands in the bank is just a lump of a whole bunch of orders and you can't match them up to what is actually in your accounting system. So it's super duper annoying. Now, recently I've seen a, a kind of a proliferation of apps come out where they're like, oh yeah, we know that that's a problem. And so we batch the orders each day. We just like kind of total them up for the day and give you a batch. And that's okay-ish, but it doesn't actually reconcile to what lands in your bank account. So you still can't reconcile. You still don't know that you're getting paid for everything that you sold, which is the big problem with the county. You need to be able to trust 
that your numbers are actually verifiable, that they're accurate, and you're not missing anything, okay? Now, add to that, unlike Amazon, where when you're selling on Amazon, your money comes in from Amazon, it's all one lump sum and it's wonderful. In Shopify, most people have at least two payment processors. And it's because if one payment processor, I don't know, you forget to pay your $39 bill for the month, they'll just like hold on to all your money and you can't sell anymore. <laughs> you don't want your sales to stop, so you have a second payment processor just in case as a backup, right? So most people have Shopify payments, PayPal, whatever, as their, their payment processors. But if you've got multiple payment processors, now when you're selling online, you have some of your money coming in from Shopify payments, some of your money coming in from PayPal, some of your money coming in from something else. And how are you supposed to track all of those back to the sales that you made at Shopify? So here enters A2X for Shopify. This is what they do. It's super amazing. Not only do they batch the information, they will batch it in the same way that Shopify payments does, for example. So you sell a bunch of stuff on Shopify and then you get the total of what was actually sold. It'll, they'll split it out so that if you sold some of it in March and some of it in April, they'll have two separate invoices so that when there's one deposit, you can say, oh, this deposit is made up of this invoice and this invoice, done. And so your accounting is right, it's clean, it reconciles, you, there's no confusion over matching stuff up. You don't have the, all the individual orders just crushing your system. It makes it quick and easy and painless, and I love it so much. Okay, now just a couple of last comments about how the A2X for Shopify app works. Um, the, the setup and everything, it's really, really similar to A2X for Amazon. Um, but the thing I wanna tell you is that Shopify matched up with Shopify payments is really exactly like Amazon. It ties to the penny every time. The accounting is right. Like everything is like works swimmingly. It's beautiful. Um, the one funky thing, and this is kind of beyond A2X's control, is if you're selling stuff using like PayPal or one of the other merchant accounts, like Shopify has no control over that system. So even though the data is accurate, you'll have to reconcile that um, with PayPal, however you reconcile PayPal, okay? So um, that may be a little bit tricky, but I'm just so happy <laughs> that I, I can trust the information and I, I know it's gonna get me this much closer to um, having good stuff. Um, also something to know, I know that people are gonna ask this if I forget to tell you, but it works both with QuickBooks Online and with Xero. And um, I don't know, I've been using it for a few months now. We're doing the beta on it and it works pretty slick. All right, for those of you who stuck around to the end so that you could find out how to do it without using a tool, I actually have this course, Accounting for Shopify. It goes through beginning to end how to pull all the information and manipulate it so that you can get to a good end result. I'm also going to update it though to include information for how to set up and use A2X for Shopify because I think that once you do it a few times, you're going to realize that it's a colossal pain in the butt and that you're gonna want a tool to automate this for you. So um, I'm gonna have all that information in there, hopefully by the end of this month. Also, I'm gonna have a discount code down below so that um, you can take a little bit off just because I am happy that you're watching my videos. And, um, oh, one last thing before I go. Uh, Scott and I are gonna be speaking at Scaling New Heights next week, so if you are an accountant, come by and check us out. We're gonna be talking for about, I don't know, 100 minutes or something like that on e-commerce accounting, sales tax, all that kind of stuff that's really important for people who are selling online. And then we're gonna jet from there over to Xerocon and spend time over there. So if you're at either of those places and you wanna come up and say hi, please do. I love to meet people who are watching my videos and you can ask me whatever kinds of questions you've got or if there are some videos you want me to make, you know, I am always up for ideas. So 
I think that's it for today. I hope you liked my video. If you did, please like, comment, and share. If you haven't already, please subscribe, and I'll catch you later. Thank you.